Okay, so now I've got my supplies laid out and I'm just gonna quickly go over what I have surrounded myself with and why. So when I do this, I tend to work monochromatically. So I will pick a color. Limits are your friend because it's gonna free you up to just try different things with your supplies and you know that everything's gonna mix well together um, because you don't have any colors that just aren't going to play nice. So I chose green. I'm probably going to do a bunch of garden type paintings, her nature paintings coming up and maybe over the fall. So this is a good color for me to have around. So even though I'm making collage paper, I chose papers to add to my collage paper because there's something nice about the juxtaposition of a printed piece of pattern type paper against the loose marks that we tend to make when we're making collage paper. So I just have a variety of these. I have one neutral and then everything else are just various shades of green. And then I chose some different media. So I have a few shades of green in colored pencils, a few shades of green with my pastels. Same thing um, over here with the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2s. Those are water soluble crayons. For neutrals, I have a 9B Kimberly pencil. So this is super dark to make some marks with if I want to. And this is a Lyra. It's a water soluble graphite pencil. These are super fun to play with and just make marks. A variety of brushes. These two are just cheap bristle brushes you can get in the craft section at Michael's. These are super great for making these sort of um, grungy marks in the paint. This is just like a calligraphy brush, but it leaves marks you really can't control when the brush is wet so I like using it for this kind of thing. This is another cheap paintbrush I got from Michaels. Again bristly type brush. This one's pretty soft which I like because when they're too firm I just don't like the way it pushes the paint around so I was happy to find these. These um, if you can find them are super fun. These are just Crayola paint brushes and I discovered these because of my children and if you want a really fat soft brush like this with rounded edges and it comes in a four pack. They have different sizes. These are great and honestly um, I haven't been able to find any brushes like this that are more in like the fine art section so um, I'm good with cheap brushes though. I love cheap brushes. This is a Dina Wakely brush. These are super nice. I like the really crisp marks you can get with these against the looser, scratchier marks of those. And it's a nice um, soft brush too. I've got a scrapey tool. These are just a jelly plate tool. And the last thing I have is stencils. So I have a polka dot one. I'm not sure what brand this is. I got this off of Amazon, but I wanted something that had little tiny polka dots in it. And the rest of these are Stencil Girl product stencils. So other than my usual paint box of Liquitex paints, this is all I'm gonna use. And the name of the game is to get a variety of colors and marks in here. I already got this dirty. We're gonna flip it over. Yeah, so the name of the game is to get a variety of different greens and marks in here. And I also wanna make sure that the whole thing is not mid-tone. I wanna get some really light lights in some areas and some really dark dark so that I have a lot of variety. Because what I'm gonna do when this is done is I'm gonna tear this up and it's gonna go in my collage paper pile. And if anybody is wondering, this is just Blick brand um, sketch paper. I bought a huge pack of the full-size sheets years ago when I started a drawing program and I have a ton left over and you can rip it up into any size and it just tends to be like the perfect weight for collage paper. It just makes the best noises. It can take a lot of paint um, and I just love it. So I'm not really gonna think, I'm just gonna get started. I wanna get some marks down so I'm gonna go ahead and dip this in water. And I think I want to add some greens to this with the pastel. And for me, sometimes I like to mix, like this is a cool green, this is a warm green, you know, it's another difference you can add in there. And then I like to take my scratchy brush 
dip it in water and paint with the pastel because if you're not aware, pastel is really just pigment in stick form. Oftentimes, especially with higher end pastel, it's the same kind of pigment you're gonna get in your paint. And so you can use it in different ways. And what I'm gonna try doing this time is keep turning the paper as I go because I have a tendency to start looking at these like they are paintings and start habitually doing stuff. And I feel like by turning it occasionally while I'm working, I feel like it's just gonna keep it fresher for me and remind me that this is just collage paper. This is not a painting. That's not what we're trying to do here. So I wanna use this stencil, I think, for a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and just mix up some green. isn't super dry it's still damp but I find if you use a glue stick instead of matte medium that you can still stick collage papers onto this and it's usually fine and the trick to this is is to not think too much about this and where you're putting them and just kind of get in there don't worry about if they get paint on them like this it's fine this is just about making some loose free marks and trying things. So I mixed up a different green and I'm just going to go in and make some other marks with this. I want to put a little bit of saturated color in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and dip my Neo color in water um, and just make some scribbles. I want to put something a little bit structured in here, and since I have a lot of mid tones and a little bit of darks, I think I'm going to go and do, do I want more darks? Maybe I do. All right, we're gonna go for more darks. All right, so I've turned it again. This incidentally, um, if you have a really hard time painting over stuff in paintings and you know, letting stuff go so you can move the painting forward. Making collage papers this way is really good practice in doing that because the paper kind of gets better as you start just sort of making a mess and covering things up. So I'm just coming through here and I have some paint on my palette and I'm just using it up on here. Will I think about what I might like to do next? This is just a sort of greeny gray that I made with sort of the dirt and stuff that I have on my palette over there from all the little things I've put out while doing this and adding some grays in there, um, especially if they're still towards green, it makes all the other greens look that much more green if that makes sense because when you put something that's neutral near something that's more saturated it makes the saturated things look more saturated and the neutral things look even more neutral and it's okay to come in and mess up um, the stenciled area where it's still wet too when you do that it kind of it integrates the design of the stencil into what you're doing and makes it look a little more natural because now you have your hand in it um, and it just kind of takes away that overly stenciled look and gives it more of a like an art vibe that it's part of a painting or it's more of a fine art thing. So 
So I feel like this needs a little bit more saturated color and I haven't used this yet. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. This brush works best if it's pretty wet. You don't have to dip it all the way into the end, but it needs to be pretty damp so that the bristles can do the weird things that they do. I'm gonna put some more Neo color on here for a cool green. And where do I wanna put this? Put it here. Um, don't have any really light areas on here so I'm gonna go ahead and be brave and let go of something and I'm gonna put that in there because I said I was gonna do it and I know that it needs to be in here just deciding where to put it I think I used most everything I had set out. I've got some collage papers left over and the paper's still really wet so I didn't use the colored pencils because I know that's gonna rip the paper. But this is great. I'm gonna tear this up and then this is gonna become collage fodder for me to use in art journaling or paintings or whatever I want. And it's a great way to get me started when I wanna make something but I kinda of don't know where to start. I can tear this up and start laying some pieces down and almost starting a painting by giving myself patches of painting to work with. So I hope that was helpful and I hope you give this a go. Let me know in the comments if you do. Happy painting.